Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return to fair. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? No, no, eh? per favore, no. No, no. All right, Scaletta, take the shot. Allora, traditori! Corporal, this guy is more troops headed this way. Check it's already right. 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 You and Williams take out that machine gun nest. Then find the prisoner. We're line. gonna need every man we can get. Think it through this way. Looks like we found the machine gun. Watch it. You got a grenade, Salerno. This would be a great fucking time to use. Put a grenade to the window. Scaletta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Well then get off your ass and let's move it. Whoa. Oh. Grab all the ammo you can carry. Oh, this shit. might be our last chance. Prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Scaletta, you take point. Uccidete gli ostaggi! Uccidete morti! Got him! Going this way. Come on. Oh shit! How many of these fuckers are there? Get oh, some fuck. Just keep shooting. What the hell is this move like? I'm doing. Hey, 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 hey. So I shoot for this fuck. Hey, bye bye me, asshole. Fuck. Ah. Who touched shit? The this balcony isn't shit. gonna work. We gotta keep moving. Get in. Get inside, Scaletta. I will never see you. I don't even know I will never see you. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, there's a bear shit in the woods. Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. It's with this shitty weather. They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? <laughs> Almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? 
I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading. Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Well, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here. Wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? From old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. Ah, salud. Chin down. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Vito! Is uh, that you? Hello, Mrs. Uh... It's just one lousy beer. Crazy broad. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy is home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Vito. Hey, sis, what's going on? We wait for you. Oh, yeah. so sit down, oh. sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Wow, looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Ah, fuck this. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and... Seems when you ask me ten seconds. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, uh, do you know where Joe Barbro lives? To the right of the stairs. And tell him that racket last night has to stop. If he don't like it, he can find another place to live.
Is this a bad time? <laughs> we ain't kidding out at all. Come on in, let's talk. Ugh, you disgusting pig. I picked up these broads on my way back from the store. I've been waiting for you. All right, girls, that's it for now. I got business. Stop by tomorrow, okay? We'll pick up where we left off. Chop, chop. Come on, Joey. Why do we have to stop when we can all have fun? The fun's over, baby. Later, I said. Me and Vito here haven't seen each other for a long time. We got a lot of catch -ish than usual. That's the pedal over there on the right. I know, Joe, I know. Okay, now make a right here. Then just go straight for a while. Hey, whoa, 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 slow it down a bit. No need to get pulled over for no reason. Hey, Vito, you know what time it is? It's daytime. How the fuck should I know? It's time for you to get your own fucking car. Yeah, I'd love to if I could afford one. Who says you're gonna pay for it? No, you wasn't kidding. They really taught you to drive over there. At least something good come out of it. Ooh, get a load of that baby. Nice. That's a 42 Jefferson. 